Well, 15 million degrees, we've done it now. It feels great. So much hard work by the whole team to get the ST40 to do this. One of the important things about hitting 15 million degrees has been about sticking to the plan. The ST40 is comprised of thousands of different components, many of which are bought from outside suppliers, others of which are made by precision manufacturing companies, and they all have to come together and be tested, validated, assembled, and finally run as a complete ST40 unit. This has taken a tremendous amount of planning by the team, and inevitably, some things go wrong. Things turn up late, things aren't quite what we expected, and it's only through detailed planning and recovery to that plan that we've been able to bring everything together. And that's the process that we'll use going forwards. Set a milestone, make a plan, do everything possible to stick to that plan and achieve the result on time. 15 million degrees. It's important because although the ST40 is going to achieve a lot more than that, and we're already now working towards our 100 million degree C milestone, it's very important because it gives us and our investors, importantly, confidence that we're on the right path. The machine is built, it works, and now the next stage is to tune it up towards fusion energy. Our next goal is to hit 100 million degrees. We'll be doing that with an upgraded ST40 in a new facility. We'll be adding new equipment to allow the unit to go to higher power. And once we've done that, we'll have really demonstrated that we are by far and away the most advanced privately funded fusion company in the world.